Hey guys, fishing and stuff. Today, we're going over some of the best DIYs for your boat that I've ever made. Some of these videos got a lot of views and other ones, not so much. But some of the best DIYs on here are the ones that didn't get that many views. I'm just saying. So, maybe there's something on here you ain't seen. But anyway, let's get into these DIYs. Boat DIY number one. So the first DIY on this list is a rod rack mount. You get that? I made a video a few years ago where I made some multi bars. Well, then I ended up getting me some, so I made mounts for them. And it turned out pretty dang awesome. Looks dangerous. Probably will be. It's danger fab. Don't you have a video on this? Yeah, how to make one, I need to watch it. <laughs> Safety measures. Don't show that. <laughs> you need to wear your PPE. It don't bother me a bit. And this is kind of like doing what you gotta do. You don't get no closer than that. Perfect. I really do like them. Boat DIY number two. One of the best things that I had installed on my boat since I bought it was Pan Optics, which is Garmin, and most people call it Live Scope. I asked you a question. Yeah. If I get that Live Scope put on, mm -hmm. can you guarantee me it's gonna be a fish catching machine? I can guarantee you that you'll get mad because you see them and you can't catch them. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no good. <laughs> so that's what I'm putting on my boat. Here's my transducer, my cornfield crappy mount. They got my name on it. You know what was really awesome? They guaranteed me my money back if it didn't work. I'm just saying. So Ethan ain't no help. Is putting this garment on my boat gonna make it a fish catcher machine? Can you give me a guarantee? Uh, yes. Money sir. back? Well, I can. I don't... You can. I can. I can. It'll be, it'll be you a give money. Give me my money back. Give you money back. Yeah. Guarantee. Labor. Labor. <laughs> <laughs> Number three. I had a Bimney top installed on my boat. You have to do a lot of editing video of us much. Do you bleep? Is that uh, what you... Do you bleep? No. Okay. You might need to bleep us. Don't move it and you put it right there. It'll be good. <laughs> Look at there. That's perfect. Flick. This is the easiest Bimney top I ever put on. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm not better to be on YouTube. <laughs> oh, you on YouTube. Which turned out really awesome, especially in the sun. You would think a bimini tops for the rain, it's more in the sun. Boat DIY number four. So like four or five years ago, I made a cutting board. And it turned out pretty cool, I mean. It wasn't bad for what I had into it, you know what I'm saying? Well then, I got a catfish cutting board, which is an awesome cutting board. The next year, they even stepped it up more and made it more awesome. You know that's awesome. That is awesome. Well, if you got a cutting board, then you gotta have a cutting board mount. So, I made one of those. pretty cool and all but me and my buddy took the ultimate trip up to Virginia to catfish we hopped in the truck and away we went no 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 we hopped in my truck and away we went and we got to see how professionals do DIYs Skipping through the tools in the program. So I did the quarter, I did the drill, I did the quarter turning, and Z input C, and this number will change. Hey man, I don't want a job just to make my rod hold the bait. 
I'm just kidding. <laughs> And it turned out pretty dang awesome. So all we do is we just put four screws. It takes less than a minute to put it together. Boat DIY number five. On one of my videos called the LED boat light, my buddy was installing some lights on his boat. So we went over and seen what he was doing. Wired into one of his switches and run his wire all the way up it. After he run the wire all the way up the gunnel strip, he stuck the rubber back in so it's a nice clean installation when you're done. So you could have mounted this all kinds of different ways. I know you can make anything. Why'd you use a round ball mount? Move it wherever you want and then tighten it back down. You can raise it up too. Yeah. And then fold it back out of the way. Let's see them things. Good gracious. Those things are bright. Look at the difference. They turned out pretty cool. I kind of want some. Number six. Now one of my favorite DIYs of all times are the steps on my boat because they turned out awesome. Same buddy of mine makes those steps. Heck yeah. Let's get them. Because he's a real life fabricator. You know these steps on the front of these boats are freaking awesome. Boat DIY number seven. I made a cleat mount rod holder like four or five years ago. And it turned out really, really cool because it wasn't a regular cleat mount rod holder. It actually held four rods. You gotta admit, that's cool. Boat DIY number eight. I also have an old video where I actually made the rod holders that could go on something like that cleat mount rod holder. And I made the rod holder off of a monster rod holder, which is like a really good rod holder. It turned out pretty cool, actually. DIY number nine. And then I made an adjustable rod holder base, which is basically like a base that you screw the rod holder in. And then you can adjust it around. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Not polished, they look fine. Hey, cool, my kid, and them boss ones are bad. Boat DIY number 10. When I first bought my boat, the leaning post on it was like really tall. I mean, yeah, you could lean against it, but if you tried setting on it, Exactly. So I talked my buddy into cutting it down for me. Basically what we did was cut like five inches out of that leaning post and re-weld it because I didn't want a seat that sat flat on the deck which I couldn't have seen over my console with. I wanted the actual leaning post that I could kind of rest on because I can always stand up and drive. You know? This is the way they come from the factory. Right now I'm standing and I still can't. If I sit on it, I can swing my feet. How's that feel? Feels good. It's a whole lot better than sitting here, you your feet ain't dangling. Reach the steering wheel, go full throttle without you know, leaning down. It's comfortable. Number 11. A really cool video I did, it's been a few years ago, but I built a rod storage rack to like hold fishing rods. And I think it held like 10 fishing rods, but it mounted in one of those holes that your seat mounts in. So you could put it in the front of the boat or you could put it in the back of the boat. Know what I'm saying? Boat DIY number 12. 
One of the coolest DIYs I did to my boat was the decal. It was pretty dang cool, I'm just saying. But my boat come with a decal that said River Cat. And I had the fancy decals like they put on the Pro Cat. And I just happened to find me one, which wasn't very easy. I'm just saying. And we put it on my boat and it turned out <laughs> awesome. I mean, you could have this or you could have this or you could have this or this. Of course, you might be a big fan of this, but I'm a big fan of this. You know you're stupid, right? I know it. Boat DIY number 13. One of the coolest DIYs I ever did was also one of the first DIYs I ever did, and that was the hot shoe rod holder mount. I basically made a rod holder, and I made it mount with a hot shoe. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Well, you're 45, but I don't think, I'm not gonna have any problems with my rod, my butts being in the way of each other. That's the only thing I was concerned about. Well, there you have it. Some of the best boat DIYs I've ever did. And that's not all the boat DIYs I've ever did. That's just some of the best ones. If you like this video, then you're probably gonna like this video. So you should go over there and you should check it out. I'm serious. Go check it out because this video is over. <laughs>